want to know how to make a component and a service of, of your own and how to use them in your application after the intro and go Hey everyone, this is Subhat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So today we are going to see the how to create your own component and services and how to use them effectively. So here you can see my screen. To create a component, you can write ng, g for generate, c for component, you can write generate component as well. Then suppose you are going to type a login component. Then the login part of it. As you can see, that this got created. We will go inside it and see what's all there. So it has same as Angular created default components are same. The CSS, HTML, spec.ts, and the component.ts. So if you go inside, it has a component annotation. It has its own, its own selector and a template URL and a style URL, as I explained in the previous video. If you go, it's saying that this login works. So what we will do now? So for the time sake, we'll comment all this code. We we'll comment all this code and insert our app login component here. I explained you how the selector goes to the how selector find and how it's got rendered. If you don't know, you can watch my previous video at the flow of flow of Angular and all. It will be somewhere here in the card. So if you hit refresh now to start the start the terminal, hey, now to start the application, you can write ng serve. Now you can if you can go to the browser and hit local 2200. That thing login works. So if you if you are going to change something instead of that if you want if you want H1 and say this is a fun app. Sorry. Hit command S and you can go and check. This is a fun app. Fine. This now you created your own component. So congratulations for that. Now you'll go ahead, go ahead and create a service. So if you create the service here, if you write the command in the fun app uh, directory, it will the service will get created in the inside the app folder. And if you have multiple services, it will be get lengthy. So I created a share for share folder. I'll go inside it. So cd then src. Then cd you have app inside it then we'll try to go to this service part that that that, that is the shared i created so inside that if you write ng ng for g for generate c for sorry c for component s for service then we'll see that we'll make a http service suppose which will be used for making http calls that again that will come in the next next to next maybe after three four videos so if you go inside it you can see this has a injectable in it and this has a http service the name become http service as we created through the cli it will append everything for you and we created a component like if you can see login components all it's added here in the declaration part like in the first or second video i told that whichever component you will create it you need to in, declare it in the declaration part that that will handle by the ang angular cli itself but the service what we are creating we need to provide in the provider section so and we need to import that as well so you can import it here shortcut is control space then it will give a suggestion and you can give the command give enter to import that in your app module.ts so you save that in the provider so that it's provide the service to all the component in your app which will control by the ng module okay now i will say what the service is 
the service uh, so in a kind of from a easier terms of point of view uh, service is a thing so uh, suppose you create a login component it's created a sign up component you created a home you created a, a profile page you created a uh, cart maybe the booking cart sale cart and you want a single record to be maintained everywhere there are other way to do also but you that in only single session till the user don't hit refresh this data need to be accessed by all the component and wherever it changed it should reflect everywhere at the same time okay, then you can use this one or if you want a want to want to have a single uh, method which which is which has multiple within every component that also you can use and obviously it, it will contain some value and all variable and all so that i will show you now i will i'm gonna create a variable here suppose uh i'm for testing purpose i'm giving test equals to how are you okay then in the http service i'll go to the login component and i will use that http service here now, now so how to use that it's a good question how to use that so in so you need to inject that injector in your constructor here so as you can see it has it only has an in injectable parameter so this is this is enable the service that it can be injected to a constructor so that the constructor can use the service and all the application of it so we'll go ahead here that is public then http then we will uh, inject the service here it is http service it will auto import for us then on init so log it http dot test and we can use the power of angular i can go ahead and directly like uh, an app I can add a H2 here. Okay. And we can paste this. So while the construct login component got created, the HTTP service got injected to the login component so that it can be used the whole life cycle of this component. So the life cycle now we'll cover in the upcoming videos. So now we can go to the spot and see how are you? This is a cool guy isn't it this is cool so mm, as we can use this service sorry as we can use this service in the login component by injecting it to the constructor we can use it everywhere as i told you i will show you how service will help us to maintain a single record with all the components whichever is using that service so here here is the example i'm using two component i'm using this service http service in the two component one is the login one is the login component i already shown you and one in the app component so i just written so i also did the same i inject uh, the http service to the app component and in the html for your sake i'm writing in in app component and the test and then the same variable here and in the login component.html I'm writing same here. If you don't know ng model, don't worry guys. In the next video, I'm going to cover the binding and all, event binding, the two-way binding, every binding I will cover. So don't worry for that. For for now, just focus on the component and the service part. So if I go here and for the time being i will i will say that two way binding is if i changing something here it will also change the variable and the 
ts part also that means it will change the value of the variable not only it will display the variable to change the value of the variable on the changing on the html side also for that you can as you can see here it's a how are you that we created in the beginning how are you so now if i go here it's in now if i go here and try to change it this is the magic of angular guys so how am i and this is got changed this is in login component this is in app component guys so when i'm changing the value of this variable of a service in the login component it simultaneously get reflected in the app component as well so that is the benefit of logins that is the benefit of service so uh, here i can in this video i can show you the all the benefit of the service so that will come in the later video on file right to your http call i will use this same file to make http calls and all then you can go how to call the service the same way like in calling a variable in a in a javascript or some other uh, way but it will it will be very useful if you are maintaining some data in your application and all so that's it guys we're done for today please hit the like button if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you will be updated in the angular and other tutorials coming up thank till that bye bye